2009 to 2016 were seven years of plenty in Zimbabwe. And for sure, the shops were full and things were flowing. 2016 to 2023 will be seven years of famine, or in this case, hardship. Of course, it will rain none again. 2019, April onwards, is the year of restoration. Only a few people will be restored to God's order, in God's order, which means 2024, God will do something new in Zimbabwe. Now, God is making this nation to become his cream. He wants to have this, he wants, he wants to test his cream in Zimbabwe. A few years ago, God revealed to me that Zimbabwe is meant for trying the Gentiles. The Gentiles are people who are not Jews. I'll say some hard things here. Someone can do everything right. They are both thought of. They are Christians. Yet God does not count them as such. Then again, someone can do everything wrong. And God says, there is my seed. And so it's all about the seed of God, the seed of Abraham. But I'm not saying do wrong because once you know the truth and you do wrong, God will punish you. Paul says, do not take advantage of grace to sin. And so the trying is for people to know who is who and which is which. There are two trends, one in Zimbabwe, one in America. In Zimbabwe, people in there, they say uh, many people, they want to be prophets. In America, people want to take the place of God. They want to become God himself. I'll study the Zimbabwe. But of course, the most dangerous spirit is someone or people in a church who are so close to the truth, they are emulated, they are powerful, and yet they are not the seed of God, the seed of Abraham. God will test them also. And those are the most dangerous people. But of course, I won't mention names here, not in this platform anyway, or this platform anyway. And then the false prophets, here's how you know them. These days on TV Live, they're saying your mother is a witch, your father breaches you. Now, it's against the word of God. Honor your mother and your father. Honor your mother and your father. Honor your mother and your father. And so, you must give these false prophets the word test. Surely, if your father breaches you, just love him. Love him. Maybe you are a man of means. Buy your father in the rural areas at Rolls Royce. Maybe it is granted because you spend all of your money on girlfriends in small houses. Yes. But if you love your parents, your mother, even if she's a witch, she stop reaching people, and maybe a witch can be ratified by God Himself. So the key there is love. It's how you know these false prophets because they want your money. If you know your mother is a witch, will you give her? Will you give her more money? Will you give her any money? If you know your mother is a witch, will you go and see her? And these people they want you to follow them. It's an expense. How come you're still alive all these years? Why did not your parents kill you when you were still two years old? See, it's nonsense. It might be true, but it's nonsense. You must think like a Christian. America, they want to take the place of God. They go through rituals. The things they drink, I can't even mention them here. The things they do. Why does Will Smith always kiss men? On TV, he kissed his son who was about six or eight years old. Is it normal to kiss an eight-year-old boy on the mouth? In his first movie, there's a scene there where he is with another man. There's another movie called Snitch or Snatch. He's kissing this white man on the mouth. Why? These are rituals. It's what makes them to be prosperous and to be rich. Those rituals. And once you watch those movies, once you broadcast those movies in Zimbabwe, you are open to spread Christianism supernaturally. No wonder why your economy is going down. Because you, you have become the agent of Satan unwillingly. Obviously in Zimbabwe, there are people like that, but they won't prosper. I can feel in Zimbabwe, there are people like that who want to, who want to spread Satanism, but they won't prosper because God has chosen Zimbabwe to prove his seed of Abraham, to test people here. It won't prosper in Zimbabwe. It never, ever prosper. And people like, yes, Michael Jackson, Chris Brown, watch out for the music you listen to or the music you broadcast to the people. You are spreading in citizenism. Maybe I talk too much. It is better I talk too much because when God comes on the scene, he does not talk, he judges. It is better to be warned in advance. 
And there was this band from the UK called The Cream in the 60s. Look, I'm very, very prophetic. I can't even help it. It's what I am. I'm not a prophet. I'm just God's son. The band was called The Cream. They came from the United Kingdom. They came from a kingdom. And in a few years' time from today, it's going to be a generation ever since Cream came on the scene. I'm not saying you must listen to the cream, the music. They might be antichrist because the things of God are past finding out, but they are a sign, a sure sign for us to know where we are in times and seasons. The cream. There were three of them. Three is perfection. And now, when we talk about the kingdom, we walk away from the time of the church ages. Of course, you still go to church because it's scriptural. But now we're in the church age, Queen Esther was a queen, which is as good as a queen. She sat on the throne. Now, the utterance of a kingdom, the utterance of a king is complete, which is why Christ always says, you have been made whole. Thy faith has made thee whole. To be whole is to be perfect. To be whole is to be complete. So a king's utterance is whole, which is why I told you, 2016, Three, these are seven years of hardships. 2024, God will do something new in Zimbabwe. Now, that is a king's utterance. Things that are whole, complete. Complete things. Perfect things. That is the purpose of the cream. God is testing the cream in Zimbabwe. Because we say things that are whole, which are complete. We prophesy in part. But now is the time for the kingdom. See? Things that are complete, that are whole, that are perfect. And what better are things that are perfect? Look, if you don't have things complete or perfect, you always have a heartache or a headache. You're always worrying. But once God says, these next seven years, and the purpose of the hardships is for God to try his cream. God, wants, when he looks at a Christian, a true Christian, he sees his seed. God wants to see his seed. He's testing me. He's testing you. He's testing those people with the spirit which seems like it is of God, is testing the false prophets, is testing these so-called gods in America. Those people in America are so wicked, so evil. The things they go through to become God manifest, the teachings of this other Antichrist book, stay away from those people. That is the purpose of the hardships in the Bible, to produce something complete, something perfect, something whole. Oh, I want to be made whole. Let me be made whole in the name of Jesus Christ. My work is free, it is timely, it is precise. You can help me to make more work like this by supporting it. Go to http golden age sayings dot x o b o r dot com or just visit the description part of this video. Now is the time for kingdom utterance. Utterance which is complete, which is whole. You won't be left doubting or misunderstanding anything because it's complete. The word, is, the word of God is complete. He is perfect to begin with. God bless you.